What's up YouTube? Um, today I am making a video about my piercings and um, let's just jump right into it. Um, first of all, I'm going to explain all the piercings that I do have. I only have seven. I used to have nine, but then I took them out. I had three up here on these th right here and three right here they used to be open but i don't i think they're closed now but you can still see like where the piercing went through now i have the rook i have my rook on both sides and um i have my tragus on both sides so right there and then of course you know my lobes pierced since i was a baby so um and then i have my nose pierced so first i'm going to talk about when i got them i got them october 26th of last year so it's been five months basically yeah so it'll be five months on the 26th of march so um i've had them for about five months i got them on my sister's birthday which is weird i'm gonna go ahead and jump into like where i got them i got them at detroit inc in michigan i think that's off six mile seven mile I don't know I don't know where it is exactly but I can link like the website down below and then you can see all that if you are in Michigan and you want to get your ears pierced mine only cost $40 because they were having like a I think it was five or ten dollars off for piercing so they charged me 40 like technically 10 for each piercing I got I actually got my nose piercing the end of my sophomore year I think it was the end yeah it was the end of my sophomore year or it was the summer going into junior year one or the other because I know I was like still in high school when I got my nose pierced my dad would only let me get it because like my friend had got hers pierced and he was like you can only keep the stud in like he didn't want me wearing a nose ring so I just like wore my stud all the time and of course now I can wear my nose ring if I want it but yeah I got it then and I paid ten dollars for that piercing so technically every piercing that I've ever got was ten dollars and then the ones that I had up here I had three on this side on up here and I had three on this side up here and uh those were free because my friend did them we were young and stupid so my friend did them and um I actually got my rook and my tragus on both sides I got all four piercings at the same time like all on the same day and the dude was like are you sure you want to do that and I was like yeah he was like are you sure you just don't want to do an industrial I was like no I want this on both ears yeah I do plan on getting I'm gonna get my second hole because I feel like I'm the only person in the world who don't got their second hole but it just costs more because I wanted to go to Claire's and get it done but that just costs more because they're using like a real earring it, um the pain for each piercing um the rook i'm gonna go ahead and say this to everybody always asks the rook hurt way less than the tragus did the tragus hurt more and i'm very pain tolerant when it comes to piercing like when i was getting it done i noticed that the tragus hurt way worse like i thought it was gonna hurt less because this is some thick cartilage up here where my rook is so you'd think that that hurt way way worse but it didn't hurt at all but um on a scale from one to ten i rate the tragus like a seven in pain a seven or eight and then I rate the rook as like a five but that's for people who are pain tolerant like if you're pain tolerant you can take a needle going through you then that should be about your pain level kind of but um, if you're not pain tolerant you'll probably think the tragus is like a 10 because it does hurt I'm not gonna lie because I thought it wouldn't hurt me at all and I got all four of these the same day like the exact same day at the same time, it was just back to back to back to back to back. And uh, I was actually scared to get my other tragus. Like, after he did my rook and my tragus on this ear, I was thinking about not getting my tragus on this ear, but I was like, I'm going to thug it out. So, the pain wasn't that bad. Now, afterwards, like the pain after a couple of days, everybody always asked me, was it hard to sleep? It actually wasn't, which is really weird. Like, I always, I, I sleep on my stomach with my head turned. So, like, I sleep on my ear. Like, either way, I twist and turn my head. So, um, it wasn't that bad. But, like, if you touch them, if they were hit, like, if somebody accidentally hit you in your ear, that hurt bad. Like, my dad was playing around with me, and he hit me really hard in my ear. Like, he smacked me on my ear. We were just playing. And, um... He, I was just like, why would you do that? And I started beating him up because it hurt really, really bad. Yeah, the pain is kind of bad like if someone hits it. But if it's not being bothered, then it's not that bad. How I clean them is with...
pain relieving antiseptic spray the um piercer had recommended this to me and i was so mad because i bought some um what was it called oh crap i can't think of it it's like ocean water h2o something i'll link it down below i'll figure out the name but like that stuff it burned my ears so bad like it it burned and i bought it because they say it's good for piercings like it's good for cleaning it because it has sea salt in it it's called h2o spray or something like that h2o ocean spray something like that and it burned my piercings bad because i was like i used this at first because that's what he recommended and then um I was like okay so I'm just gonna because one day I just wanted to spray something on there because it was kind of like irritating so I took the H2O ocean spray or whatever it's called and I sprayed it on my ear and like it like irritated my ear like my ear got this big bump on it and like I was so mad this this piercing I think it was got a keloid on it and it was huge like huge and i had never had a keloid that big i've had plenty of keloids on these like lots of keloids and i'll explain how i get rid of those later in the video yeah i got a huge keloid on it and i was so mad and i didn't know what to do so of course i went on youtube and i looked it up and i watched this girl named brianne i think i think her name is brianne and she explained like what she does to get rid of her um her keloids or hypertrophic scars and uh, it actually does work so I was like really really happy yeah I watched the video I figured out what to do and the it ended up going down I threw that can away even though it was $15 I threw it away because I was just like I'm not keeping this it doesn't help me with anything so definitely I recommend this because this does not burn at all like it's like it's like really um I don't know it just feels like you're spraying water on your ear like it does like you can feel it cleaning it but it does not burn it doesn't sting nothing so I totally recommend this there is a um there is a brand name of this, this is the CVS kind my cousin has the Wal Walgreens kind but it is called pain relieving antiseptic spray and it says compared to the active ingredients in Bactine that's what it's called Bactine is like the real like the brand one so this is what I use it works really good and lately i have not been cleaning my piercings probably for like two months straight i haven't been cleaning my piercings which is really really bad i've been so busy with school so i just don't have time to sit there and clean every single piercing they're still healing perfectly fine like nothing's going on with them you get keloids here and there but that's like that's gonna happen but yeah i use um q-tips with the antiseptic spray and i just spray it on there and i just clean around it and i'll move the piercing up because now i can move my piercings and it doesn't hurt at all especially my rook piercing but sometimes if i do have like a little baby keloid on my ear it does hurt to move my tragus and i may i've never got a keloid on my rook piercing like ever 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 like they've they've always been on my tragus piercing now i'm going to talk about how to get rid of keloids um, i use this i'll link her channel down below or the video down below one or the other and i use her video to get rid of my keloids so this is sea salt and you do not use iodized she like told like she was like do not use iodized salt it's like really bad so you have and don't use regular salt either it has to be like sea salt like that is it i use the morton mediterranean sea salt course my mom just got this from walmart it should be cheap i believe and they have ba they have little ones that are like this big because that's what my friend had basically what you do you take it and you make kind of a paste so like i take a spoon and I because this sea salt is like really big like the, the little pieces of salt are kind of big so it's hard to, for you to put it on your ear so like I take a spoon and I pour some of the salt out and I crush it with a spoon like a pretty big spoon and I just crush it like that until it gets really really small like almost to where it's like powder almost so I crush it really small and I put it inside a bottle this is like a old um you know medicine bottle but it's small so, so i can keep it in there and keep it closed tight so like i made it into almost like a powder so like when i pour it out i pour it on the spoon and then i take a q-tip and then i i put some water on it and i dip it in there i keep dipping it in there until it's like starts turning into a paste and i mix it and then i, I don't put the sea salt in my ear because i've done it once to get to get a keloid out of my ear and it just, it was like salt all going down my ear. So I was like, never again will I put sea salt in my ear. And that's how I get rid of my keloids. If you guys want to see a video on that, 
um Brienne I think her name is Brienne I don't I really don't know she uses the um she ha she shows a, how she makes the sea salt paste and um it really does work because I had put it on that that big one that I had when I had sprayed that H2O ocean water on it or whatever it's called um when I sprayed it on there and I got a keloid and I put it on there and it went down so I kept it on there overnight and then I, I peeled off the salt because it gets really hard. So I peeled it off and it was like so small. I was so happy because it was like huge and it was disgusting. I also wanted to talk about my nose ring. My nose was probably like the least painful piercing I've ever had in my life. Because like it's like so quick. Like they, they take your, they hold your nose with the clamp and they just stick the needle in really fast. And plus my nose is like really like I don't have a... I don't know how to word it I think thick nose I don't know but it like went through tear came down but that's normal um because your eyes just water up from the needle going in I guess the pain is probably like a two like that's what I want to say at most it's probably a two um I got my piercing at it's actually from a friend it was my friend's friend because if I would have went to a um a shop to get it done I'd need a parent but my dad wouldn't have cared because he knew but still and it costs way more it costs like forty dollars to get your nose pierced at like a tattoo shop or something so i was like i don't have forty dollars and then my friend was like well i got mine pierced for 10 and the pain level between like one and ten was probably like a two like it did not hurt at all the pain afterwards it did not hurt at all like i've had this piercing for like years the healing process didn't hurt some people said that they got keloids on their nose piercing and i was like i've never had a keloid like i've never got a bump on nothing on my nose piercing so it was really weird hearing hearing about that but um yeah my nose piercing was like nothing i changed my nose ring about six weeks i think it took six weeks to heal and i changed it and it was still painful so like after that i didn't change my my nose piercing about for about another six months like it took like a whole year and not that it takes a year to heal it only takes like six weeks to heal or something like that or a month or two it takes a while for it to heal not that long but it takes like six weeks or something like that so um yeah but i changed it and it hurt really bad so i was like i'm never gonna change it again so like i just left the same same piercing in there but now since i've had it for like three years maybe four almost yeah i've had it for that long but now when i change it it's like nothing like i can take it out right now and it won't hurt or anything i can pull on it and it won't hurt oops i just pulled it out see and it didn't even hurt so um so yeah but it doesn't hurt at all anymore like i really don't care about you know messing with it or anything oh yeah and i wanted to talk about how long it takes for the tragus and the rook these bad boys take a long time to heal like when he told me it was gonna take six months to a year i was like are you serious i thought he was about to say six weeks i didn't even know because i didn't look up these piercings all i know is that i saw them on uh pinterest and i thought that they were cute so that's the only reason why i got them and i didn't know that cartilage took that long to heal so he was like yeah it's gonna be six months to a year it just depends on like how how your body heals like if your body if you heal slowly then it's probably gonna take a whole year if you heal quickly it'll probably take six months but it all depends on you like everybody's not the same but I, I think I heal fast so I think it'll be ready in about like maybe three months but I was like I'm not touching these like I'm not taking out the jewelry or anything but I'm pretty sure I'll change them like probably in a couple months but right now I'm not that serious about changing them because I ha like all my jewelry matches so like it's like all like you know the silver ball jewelry so I really don't care so he said it was gonna take that long and I was just like really stressed about that because that was a long time of healing but now like I can move them and everything and they don't hurt and it's been since October basically and we're in March so um like it doesn't hurt when I touch them if people accidentally hit them maybe it hurts just a little bit because like my boyfriend be playing around with me and he'll hit he'll hit my ear and I'll get really mad but it's mainly the tragus like my rook is like nothing like it's like doesn't even hurt anymore because I look you think it's healed but I don't want to change it I think I mentioned everything and if you guys have any questions please comment down below and I will definitely answer those questions and if you want a video on how I make the sea salt paste I will definitely make one for you guys and um, I will link everything that I use down below so bye